I'm going to call that spread out enough. And now I'm going to create the foot ring. The beauty of this pot is you don't really have to trim it later on. Center up that point. Go ahead and open a hole in the middle. Stop it and check to see how it's looking. Maybe a little bit deeper. And I'm going to make my hand into kind of a hook like so and draw the clay outward to create the foot. If I don't hook my hand over, it'll rise up too much. I want to keep it nice and low, focusing on keeping my hands coming out level. The cool thing about that is the foot will ride up and down over the bumps that I created when I originally pounded out the clay. Then to finish it up, you just want a little bit nicer surface in there. So I'm going to use my flats of my fingers, smooth it out. If you really want to be fancy, take a pass with a rib. And there you have it. Thanks a lot. Hey, Rob Sutherland here, just back with the Dry Throne cake plate. This is something that you don't want to have to disturb. You want it to dry and get stiff um, in position. If you pick it up and flop it around, it's going to end up wanting to warp. So we let this get leather hard, then pass the wire under it. And if you use a twisted wire, you can add a nice little decorative surface to the top. You can just rock it back and forth or saw it back and forth, whatever you like. Uh, spin the wheel and go through. It doesn't really matter. When it's all done, it ends up looking something like this. There's a finished one with the foot ring and the top surface with a nice little pattern created by a twisted wire. And that's all there is to it. Put a cake on there and enjoy it. Thanks.